everyone, it's Jennifer, and I have for you this day in history, August the 26th. In 1939, first televised Major League Baseball game. In 1978, Grease movie soundtrack earns its second number one hit. In 1957, Russia tests an intercontinental ballistic missile. In 1957. In 1986, Prumpy murder stuns New York. In 1346, Battle of Creasy. In 1794, President George Washington decides to subdue Whiskey Rebellion. In 1968, Democratic Convention besieged by protesters. In 1964, Lyndon B. Johnson receives Democratic nomination for president. In 1920, the 19th Amendment is adopted. In 1914, Battle of Tenenberg begins. In 2016, quarterback Colin Kaepernick sits during the national anthem and gives an interview about it for the first time. And let's go on to some words. I got a bunch of words for you guys today. First word of the day is nocuous, N-O-C-U-O-U-S. It's an adjective Latin, mid-17th century. It means noxious, harmful, or poisonous. Examples in a sentence. The lab techs were clo wore close-fitting face masks to protect them from the noxious liquids they were mixing. The second, removing the noxious plants growing behind the garden was a complicated job. Our next word of the day is Gadarene. Gadarene. G A D A R E N E. Adjective Greek, mid 16th century. It means involving or engaged in a headlong or potentially disastrous rush to do something. Oh my. In one Gadarene week, author sold his car, dropped out of college, and joined the French Foreign Legion. The second, Though it seemed like a Gadarene choice when the vice president of the company quit her job to buy a farm, she had planned the move for over a decade. Our next word of the day Kachina. is Kachina, K-A-C-H-I-N-A. -A. It is a noun. It is Hopi, late 19th century. There are three definitions. The first, a deified ancestral spirit in the mythology of the Pueblo people. The second, also Kachina dancer, a person who represents a Kachina spirit in ceremonial dances. The third, also Kachina doll, a small card figure representing a Kachina spirit. Cool. Examples in a sentence. A Kachina doll is traditionally carved from a single cottonwood root. The second, each Kachina serves a purpose and represents something different. And our next word of the day. Ebullition is ebullition, E-B-U-L-L-I-T-I-O-N, noun, Latin, late 16th century. Two definitions. The first, action of bubbling or boiling. The second, a sudden outburst of emotion or of violence. Examples in a sentence. The professor asks lab students to heat hydrochloric acid to its ebullition point. The second, when I got my college acceptance letter, I had an ebullition of tears of joy. Our next word of the day, frontistry. That's how I thought it was. Frontistry. It is a noun. It is Greek, early 16th century, two definitions. The first, a place for thinking. The second, an establishment and devoted to education or study. Examples in a sentence. The library's wood panel reading room was the perfect frontistry for studying. The second, the lookout spot was adopted as a natural frontistry by introspective hikers. And our last word of the day is autodidactic. A-U-T-O-D-I-D-A-C-T. It is a noun. It is Greek, mid-16th century. It means a self-taught person. Examples in a sentence. Since he got his GED, he proudly calls himself an autodidactic. The second, thanks to unlimited how-to videos and courses on the internet, anyone can be an autodidactic. I bet you guys have done some things like that yourselves. So, let us take a look at um, a little history. How about this one, because I don't even know what these are. Table Talk Pies. Table Talk was founded around 1924 in 
Worcester, Massachusetts. The business was started by two Greek immigrants, Theodore Tana and Angelo Costadas. They met while working for a local Greek bread baker, and after taking a trip home to Greece, they decided to open their own bakery. They began by making bread, but soon began to sell pies that would hand make they would hand make overnight and sell from a horse drawn wagon during the day. They chose the name Table Talk because they believed that families should have something enjoyable to eat while they sat at the kitchen table and talked. The name is also thought to have related to Theodore Tana's initials TT. Over time, Tana and Costadas built up the company. In 1985, Christio Cocaine, Tana's mentee and son-in-law, purchased the company out of bankruptcy and helped it flourish once more. Today, Table Talk is led by Harry Conkinis, and the company makes over 250 million pies a year at three automated bakeries located in Worcester, Worcester, Massachusetts. In a testament to their popularity, some of the pies are shipped as far away as Hawaii. And let's go on to an inspiring quote. Today's quote comes from C.S. Lewis. The present is the only time in which any duty can be done or any grace received. The present is the only time in which any duty can be done or any grace received. And for our holidays for today, August the 26th, it is National Dog Day, National Cherry Popsicle Day, National Day of Repentance, National Kelly Day, National Logan Day, National Spark the World Day, National Toilet Paper Day, National Web Mistress Day, Pride C-Y-M-R-U, um, Women's Equality Day. For the birthdays, it is Ayla Woodruff's, Dylan O'Brien's, James Harden's, John Mullaney's, King Sid's, Little Tekka's, Macaulay Calkins' birthday today, and it is Mother Teresa's birthday. As always, there's a whole lot of holidays to celebrate. Find one that satisfies you. And maybe have a cherry popsicle while you're at it. And maybe just watch some videos or something and become an autodidactic yourself. In the meantime, please stay safe. You be kind to one another. And as always, happy yarning. Bye now.